a pretty exciting year for the Rosamond Gifford Zoo. We were just there for oh, Blue at the for Zoo. It was zoo. fantastic. The new monkey exhibit the is out there. The baby penguins and yeah. so much more is in the works from what we hear. Yeah, that's right. The zoo also has several different species birds. And on our latest visit, we were introduced to Sparky, Ruby, Nueve, and Max, four stunning parrots whose vibrant colors are only matched by the wide vocabulary uh -oh. that these birds have learned. That scares me. Sometimes repeat at the wrong time. Let's hear what they had to say. First, I'd like to introduce you guys to Sparky. This is one of our Eclectus parrots, and I'm Sarah. I'm one of his handlers here. He's part of our outreach program. Our outreach program brings some of our parrots and our raptors out to meet the public. Sparky learns a new word every day. He's got over 50 um, different words. He'll call me a dork. He says good morning. All kinds of different funny behaviors. Unfortunately, we can't get him to talk when he's out. Um, he gets a little camera shy. He'll wait till I put him back in and leave the room, and then he starts talking a mile a minute, saying, how are you, good boy. He talks to the other birds. Um, he'll tell Nueve to stop it. This is Ruby, and Ruby's being handled by Peg, one of Ruby's handlers. Ruby is the female eclectus parrot of this bird. Ruby's best behavior is looking beautiful. This is what she does best. Um, you can see the beautiful red colors and the black beak on the females. Um, whereas the male is the green, they're the foragers who need to blend in with the trees and the sun um, in the wild so that they can't be seen by predators. And this is Nueve. Nueve is our golden conure, and she's being handled by Tammy today. Good chicken. Nueve absolutely loves people the best. She was actually born at the zoo, so she loves being around people. She's going to wave to you guys as well. She loves getting attention. We do these behaviors with our birds not just for your guys' um, entertainment, but it's good for us to get a look at their feet um, to practice different kinds of health behaviors. It also gives our birds some ways to exercise as well. And this is Max. Max is being handled by his handler Liz today. And Max is a Red Lord Amazon. Max is not known for really talking very much, but he does like to mimic a lot of things. If Liz's handler starts talking, Max usually will squawk along with her. Pretty funny story with uh, Sparky is oftentimes we don't realize what we're saying or in conversation with each other or radios playing. Um, these guys pick up a lot of words. Um, so Sparky will pick up words that we may not have taught him. When one of our birds screams in there, I'll say, are you done yet? Janet, the director of the zoo, we did an interview with her and we're, we had Sparky out for this program. And during the whole thing, she was talking and telling everybody about stuff. And he looks right at her and says, are you done yet? <laughs> They are so cute. Oh, they are cute. I want a parrot. Okay, well, I don't know if your household is ready for a parrot. <laughs> Probably we not. had so much fun, though, at, at Brew at the Zoo. Yeah. And I think the friendliest, believe it or not, I can't say the friendliest because they were behind glass, but the lions. <laughs> did you see the lions? I don't think they're they real were, friendly. But they were right up at the glass, <laughs> and they were they were letting everybody come up and take. I you can scratch them under the well, chin. You wanted to. They were so cute. Yeah, but some of them, you know, didn't come out and play. But, boy, those lions, mm -hmm. they were exciting. Always a good time at the zoo. If oh, you yeah. want to keep up to date with all the animals that are on display, visit Rosamond Gifford Zoo online at rosamondgiffordzoo.org. There you go. Check out WCNY Connected with us, Ted and Amy. Thursday nights at 9 on WCNY.